Many people believe that managing finances is an insurmountable challenge, leaving them trapped in a cycle of wasteful spending. But what if we told you there's a way to break free from these financial shackles? Welcome to MoneyWise Investor, your trusted source for financial insights. In today's video, we're diving deep into the financial insights of Dave Ramsey, a renowned expert in personal finance. We'll uncover the common money-wasting habits that can keep you from achieving financial success. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our valuable financial updates. In this fast-paced world, it's easy to fall into financial traps that hinder your path to prosperity. Now, we all indulge or splurge from time to time, and that's okay. But constantly overspending on non-essentials can seriously hurt your financial goals. So who better to turn to for advice on this topic than the master of money makeovers himself, Dave Ramsey. Ramsey has spent decades guiding people to financial freedom through budgeting, debt reduction, and investing. And he's identified some key areas where folks tend to hemorrhage money. Number one, high interest credit cards. Credit cards can be a helpful financial tool when used wisely, but they quickly become a budget death trap when you carry balances each month, resulting in costly interest charges. Ideally, you should pay off balances in full each billing cycle. But when life happens and balances accrue, high interest cards with APRs above 20% exponentially grow debt faster than you can keep up. What should you do? Seek cards offering 0% introductory rates on balances for 12 to 15 months. Using credit cards responsibly takes some effort and planning, but pays off tremendously. Number two, unused gym memberships. Purchasing a gym membership is often the first step towards getting in shape, but all too soon, those fitness resolutions fall by the wayside and the monthly membership withdrawal from your account stings a bit more. Gym memberships can cost anywhere from 20 to $150 plus monthly, a tough pill to swallow when your workout gear has been gathering dust for months. Ultimately, if you just aren't using your gym membership enough, let it go so money isn't wasted each month. Number three, expensive coffees. America runs on caffeine, and the siren call of luxurious lattes, cappuccinos, and cold brews can be hard to resist. But adding a $5 cup of gourmet joe to your daily routine really adds up. Let's do the math. Stopping at a Starbucks or your local cafe just three times per week already costs you around $780 per year. Bump that up to a daily visit, and you're looking at $1,825 annually spent on coffee drinks. That's a huge chunk of change you could be putting towards other financial goals. Just brewing your own at home could save you over $1,500 a year. Number four, trendy clothes. Clothing retailers love when fashion trends come and go in the blink of an eye, compelling shoppers to regularly replenish their wardrobe with the latest hot items. But for the budget conscious, blowing your cash on today's flash in the pan styles that will look dated in a few months is a massive money drain. The allure of fast fashion retailers like Zara, H&M, and Forever 21 is hard to resist. Instead, aim to build a wardrobe of versatile, well-made classics and some statement pieces you truly love. Number five, new cars. It's a moment many look forward to, walking into a dealership and driving away with the shiny new car of your dreams, complete with that irresistible new car smell. But succumbing to the temptation of buying the latest model year can significantly drain your funds. New cars depreciate incredibly rapidly, on average of 20% as soon as you drive off the lot. After just one year, your vehicle could lose 30% of its value. Instead, opt for a used vehicle that's two to three years old with fairly low mileage. Number six, luxury apartments. Who doesn't want to live in a gleaming luxury apartment complex with resort style amenities like infinity pools, golf simulators, and 24 seven concierge service? But is forking out huge sums on rent really worth it month after month? Don't get me wrong, having a comfortable place to live is hugely important for your mental and physical health. But to save some money, consider more affordable apartments that still offer safe, clean living spaces without the opulent features that jack up rent. Number seven, high cost mobile plans. These days, a typical unlimited talk, text, data plan 
from major carriers like Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile can easily cost over $100 per month once you factor in the device payment plans and extra fees. But there's usually wiggle room to trim that monthly cost without sacrificing connectivity. So explore alternate carriers like Visible, Mint, or a public wireless that leverage the major networks at reduced prices. Number eight, unnecessary tech upgrades. The catch here is determining if a new device provides must-have features that truly improve your daily experience or just superficial bells and whistles. For example, upgrading from an older model iPhone with a laggy processor and poor camera to a new 5G capable version with a brighter display and speedy performance could be a worthwhile investment. But going from the iPhone 13 to 14, when the changes are minor, probably not essential. Number nine, impulse purchases. It's happened to all of us. You're checking out at Target when a pack of those fancy soaps, cute coffee mug, or stylish accessory catches your eye. Before you know it, you've tossed it in your cart thinking, it's just $15. But over time, those little impulse purchases add up in a major way, chipping away at your budget. Instead, prioritize essentials and items that bring lasting value. Number 10, dining out frequently. From large entrees costing $15 to $25 a piece, to apps, drinks, tips, and delivery fees, dining out regularly drains your wallet fast. Of course, the occasional takeout treat is fine, and dine-out date nights are important for couples. But excessive eating out can sabotage financial goals. Make a breakfast meal you always prepare at home. With a little planning, you can enjoy yummy food and the social experience of dining out while sticking to your budget. Number 11, brand name groceries. Brand loyalty runs deep, making it tempting to stick with the bold-faced names we know and trust. But store brand sodas, crackers, cereal, and many other items are created from the same ingredients and offer comparable quality for way less. If you really can't tell a difference in taste or quality, switch over to the savings. Every dollar counts when getting your kitchen stocked. Number 12, paying for convenience. In a world where on-demand everything is available at our fingertips, convenience comes at a cost. Services like Instacart and DoorDash make home grocery delivery and takeout easier than ever but you pay top dollar for that convenience between delivery fees, service charges, and tipping. Convenience is great when you need it in a time crunch, but frequently choosing ease over cost savings adds up in sneaky ways. Number 13, designer baby clothes. As tempting as it may be to dress your little one in the latest Gucci onesie or Burberry bonnet, Spending lavishly on designer duds for babies and toddlers is one of the prime ways poor people waste money. Just think about it. Infants grow incredibly rapidly, sometimes jumping up a size every month or two. Instead, hit up consignment shops for lightly used clothes at a fraction of the retail cost. Number 14, financing furniture. When you finance furniture purchases by putting them on credit cards or using retailer loans, you end up paying far more than the list price after interest. Let's say that gorgeous new bedroom set is $3,000. If you finance it over three years at an average 20% APR, you'll end up paying over $1,000 extra in interest fees. Ouch. Meanwhile, if you save up to pay in cash, the furniture is yours the day you buy it without extra financing fees. Number 15, alcohol and cigarettes. A pack-a-day smoker can burn through over $2,000 per year on cigarettes alone. Add in cocktails, craft brews, and wine, you could easily spend $3,000 or more annually on these vices. That's money that could have been saved, invested, or used to pay off debt or fund retirement. I'm not saying you need to give up your nightly glass of Merlot or occasional cigarette for good, but curbing these habits even somewhat generates serious savings. Number 16, neglecting preventative care. When budgets feel squeezed, costs like health insurance premiums, prescriptions, and doctor visit copays can feel tempting to skip or put off. But neglecting preventative care to save money in the short term often leads to exponentially higher medical costs down the road. An ounce of prevention is truly worth a pound of cure when it comes to your health. Number 17, fast fashion. A protagonistic $12 shirt might only withstand a few washes before it's unwearable. 
This forces you to replace fast fashion garments far more frequently, which adds up significantly. You end up spending more over time, while also contributing massively to textile waste and pollution. Invest in well-made staple items and some statement pieces you truly love from ethical brands focused on quality and sustainability. Number 18. Unused subscriptions. How often do you audit what subscriptions you actually use and get value from? If you aren't watching that new streaming show, wearing those mailed clothes, or listening to that music app, it's wasted money each month. Be disciplined about cancelling ones that no longer serve you. Number 19. Excessive gifting. Showing appreciation through gifts strengthens bonds and brings joy. But gifts can also become an unnecessary financial burden when taken to extremes. The key is sticking to reasonable gifting budgets you can truly afford for each occasion. There are so many meaningful ways to show that you care while being financially responsible. Focus on those creative expressions of appreciation when gift giving. Number 20. High-end beauty treatments. While it's wonderful to treat yourself occasionally, frequent high-end salon and spa visits wreck budgets fast. A single facial at a luxury establishment can run $150 to $200. Instead, look for beauty self-care that makes you feel confident and relaxed without going broke. And stick to salon visits for special occasions only. Take a look at your spending habits and see if any of these resonate with you. Make a commitment to change, and you'll be well on your way to a brighter financial future. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to MoneyWise Investor for more eye-opening financial insights. Also, hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat on your journey to financial success. Until next time, stay MoneyWise.